Man, Unreal Engine games are looking absolutely amazing with this new HDR10 mod that we discovered called Major Pain the Cactus in combination with Lilium's inverse tone mapping. And these are the settings. All you have to change depending on the display is this target brightness. In this case, 800 nits for my LG C1 HGIG. And the other thing you might have to change depending on the game is this content TRC. For the vast majority of the games that I've tested, 2.2 is the best. But for some exceptions, sRGB is the way to go. And how can you know that? It's very simple. If you use 2.2, you will clearly see that you're crushing details. It is obvious. And I will show you like some examples so you can, you can tell the difference here. You know what to look for, basically. But take a look at this, man. Some people say, man, I don't like HGIG because it just looks too dark and I feel like I have to use dynamic tone mapping. Low, bro, look at this thing. This is just beautiful. Like you, you will never feel with this mod, you will never feel like you're losing, you're missing brightness that you want to use dynamic tone mapping. This just looks beautiful on HDR. Absolutely amazing. It's just an indie uh, game developed on Unreal Engine. Take a look at this light source here we have all the details there there's no clipping no clipping whatsoever you can see all the details on the highlights no crushing on the darkness you see a beautiful color saturation take a look at the uh, top left corner of the screen where it says dcip3 12 percent so what that means is that right now 12 percent of what's on screen belong to colors that are HDR colors, okay? <laughs> this IP3 color space. And we have sometimes we have BT2020. But this doesn't look like just wild, incorrect colors everywhere. This looks so good to me. This looks like the way HDR should look, in my opinion. Like when I see a game that looks amazing on HDR, I see this. Okay, I see a perfect black point. I don't see you know a grayish look near black. I see a colorful bright picture and it's just amazing you definitely have to give this a try in my opinion this is a game changer because we're talking about the majority of the games okay i would say 70 percent at least and this is just me you know guesstimating right now are on real engine games is the most of the games that we play are on real engine games so to know that right now we can basically get a flawless HDR for so many games. It's just amazing. So now let me show you how can you know how can you know if you have to use sCRGB or gamma 2.2. Take a look at this table right here. All the details are visible right now. If I change from sRGB to gamma 2.2, boom, you're crushing. Okay? It, this is obvious. Okay? You don't have to be an expert. Just look at this. It's obvious that this game is sRGB, okay? But for the vast majority of the games that I've tested, 2.2 is the way to go. So it's just something that you have to check. But aside from that, it just, that's it. It just works. <laughs> Jensen, it just works. Now, let me show you. This game has a dynamic time of the day. And I want to show you once the night comes, this is just absolutely amazing. You see the well, right now, during the daytime, take a look at that sun. This is just popping ferociously, okay? We're talking about the maximum peak brightness that my display can offer me, okay? It just looks incredible. The clouds are looking very bright and awesome, okay? And colorful, too. And during the night, the stars are all popping. And you can see it on the graph, the average brightness you see on the top left corner of the screen right now, average brightness, 145 nits. That's absolutely perfect for my LG C1 because full screen, this LG OLEDs can do like 140 to 150 nits. So to have an average brightness on the screen right now, that's like 140, that's just perfect. Okay, And it goes beyond that. If you look at the sky, <laughs> it can go beyond that. So it looks bright, no clipping. No clipping. Look at those clouds. They are all the detail is there. No clipping. No dark crush. A colorful picture. Perfect black point. No tweakings necessary. Like you don't have to look at this thing. <laughs> this is just beautiful, man.
just beautiful. So yeah, you have to try this. I wanted to show you just a video recorded from my PC uh, so you can see uh, with quality because my with my phone, I cannot show you how this looks, okay? It just doesn't look not even close to what I see in front of me. Even when my phone camera is actually very, very good. Uh, but yeah, it's not enough. <laughs> I cannot show you HDR. So this recording is from my PC. Uh, by the way, look at the, take a look at the performance of this game. This is 4K uh, with TAA. I'm getting like 80 frames per second. <laughs> uh, so yeah, not a stellar, just on Real Engine. But it looks very good, man. It looks very good in terms of HDR. Look at this lens flare effect. That song looking beautiful. Yeah, we have some popping, some stutter. That's Unreal Engine, okay? That's <laughs> but you, you can see this uh, smoke effect. It looks very good. Yeah, the game looks very, very nice. You see, let's, let me get this afterburner numbers out of the way. Take a look at the, at the colors right now. All these blue colors are DCI-P3. You can see it. 50% of what's on screen right now is DCI-P3 colors. And it doesn't look like overly saturated, like, oh, it just looks wrong. And you know, it's just wild. It looks very, very nice. Look at that blue. It just looks beautiful. Look at this dolphins <laughs> popping with, with bright colors. You know, the reflections on the water are popping. And you can see it on the graph too. And now this becoming orange is just a beauty, man. Look at this thing. No, no clipping. <laughs> so we're not talking about Horizon Zero Dawn which is just a mess on the clouds. Look at this thing, okay? It's, it's just amazing, just amazing. All the details on the horizon with all the brightness. And you can see it on the brightness histogram. It's just absolutely flawless, absolutely flawless. Look at those reflections. You have to give this a try, man. It can make a game like this, which is just an indie game, look incredible, okay? so. Imagine that you can get this quality for most of the games that you play. I'm not going to say all of them, all of them, because this doesn't work for all games. Okay. It works for other engines. So, for example, I tested it on the Snowdrop engine with uh, the Division 1, and it works. It looks absolutely amazing. Actually, I was deciding, man, should I show you the Division 1 or this one? And I decided to go with this one because the Division 1 is mostly like white snow, very, very bright. But you don't see the colors like here. You Look at this, man. Wow. <laughs> this is amazing. This is amazing. So, but yeah, it works on other games. I tested it on Rise of the Tomb Raider, which is the other game where I have to use sRGB uh, for the content TRC. Um, and yeah, it works for many, many other games, you know. I made it like a summary video with all the games where I tested this, but I, I'm still testing, testing more games just to see, you know, when it works, when it doesn't work. And yeah, try to maybe figure out a way to, to make it work for games where it, it's not working. And I believe that for some games, it's not working due to the uh, anti-cheat check. So for example, in Starfield, we know that this mod should be possible. Why? Because there is a mod that does the same thing. And what that mod is doing differently from this mod is that it is bypassing the anti-cheat. So that said, we would we would need to we would need a way for this mod, like an update or something, or or another mod to bypass the anti-cheat. So we get this working on more games. That's it. That's all that we need. So I, I, I want to show you the night time. Let's wait until the night comes. It's, it's about to come. We see the sun is almost um, gone. And the night time is, is amazing on this game because you see the stars. Look at this. <laughs> we have colorful, you know, fish <laughs> just jumping around. It is a very nice showcase for HDR. Look at this thing. You discover new creatures. Look at this. 
it is really, really a treat. Very, very nice. But you get shader compilation stutters. Every time you see something new, you get a stutter, which is unfortunate. That's just unreal. And look at right now, look at the colors. BD2020, 24% of what's on screen right now is BD2020. And it doesn't look wild. This just looks, it looks good to me. This doesn't look like you know, wrong <laughs> colors. Um, it just looks good. Look, 30% of what's on screen right now is BD2020. Just, this looks ferocious, <laughs> 37%. This is amazing, man. Now we're about to see the stars. Man, it's, this thing is stuttering like crazy. Every time you see something new, it's a stuttering. But yeah, I just wanted to show you the HDR, which is what matters right now. The stars are not popping all the time. They will start popping. You will see. It just changes and the star, they, they will become brighter. You'll see. Right now, they are not brighter. But you see that everything pops. This lantern here on the, on the boat is popping. A slide just everything looks good. No crush. You see all the details inside the boat. Again, if we change from 2.2, let me show you. Another example. If we change here from two point from SRGB to 2.2 inside the boat, take a look. Boom, you're crushing details. You see? You're crushing with 2.2. So clearly, this is the way to go here. SRGB. So it seems like this game was uh you're graded on srgb well stars are not popping now <laughs> maybe because of the of the rain maybe wow you saw that that was bright <laughs> if you pause that you see the brightness histogram that's gonna be uh very very bright that's max out brightness all those uh, thunderstorms that's just max out brightness so this, this is like HDR with no mercy, okay? <laughs> no mercy HDR. That, that would be the name uh, for this mod. No mercy. What needs to be bright is going to pop as bright as you want, basically. Look at this. Yeah, I was waiting for the, for the stars to pop. But because it's raining, it seems like it is not popping. <laughs> but anyway, I think I made my point. This looks amazing. I could be doing this all day long. A game like this, which is just an indie game, it looks incredible. And again, to me, to my eyes, this looks correct. It doesn't look wild. It doesn't look like, oh, this is just like, you know, eye candy. And this looks correct to me. Okay, so yeah, it looks like the way I want HDR games to look. Like I want to see this. Okay, so yeah, let me know your thoughts and opinions. If you have any questions, I'm going to have on the link. Uh, I'm going to have in the description a link to a guide where I explain you how to install Reshade, how to uh, download and install the Lilium shaders, and this major pain the cactus. Uh, mod okay very very simple just go to the reshade website download that download from github the lilium shaders then download from github major paint the cactus and that's it just install reshade copy the shaders and textures folder uh from lilium to get the lilium shaders and then copy this major paint major paint the cactus file to the game installation folder. And some people ask me, hey, how can I download this major paint the cactus mod? I don't see a download button. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, you have to click on each file separately, one by one, to install it. Uh, you have to do that, unfortunately. But that's it. Just you know, click on each file one by one and download them one by one so you get this working. So yeah, let me know your thoughts and opinions and if you have any questions.